because all you've experienced is a no good man. And you're more comfortable because you can relate to that. Even though it hurts you, even though you're scarred, even though it's painful, you can relate to that. My wife used to say something that messed me up. She said, I did not believe that you could live with a man that wouldn't hit you. Come on. Man. 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 My God. Come on. Oh, man. She preached it over the pulpit. I did not believe that you could live with a man that don't call you out your name. Wonder why she felt like that? Because of her past experiences. That's right. That's right. Tell the yeah. truth. Yeah, you're right. Tell the truth. Your past experiences are how you obtain knowledge. She had knowledge of no good folk. She had knowledge of abuse and mistreatment, but she had never been treated like a queen. Come on now. So that was a strange display of affection. And she used to buck sometimes and work her neck and talk jazzy to me. And I would tell baby, I'm not finna put my hands on me. I don't know what you used to. I would pack up first. Come on now. Come on. Come on. My mama taught me one thing. She said, if you got a beater, you don't need her. I know that's right. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. So you might get a thrill out of all that beating you and making up later, but I'm not gonna be a part of that. Come on now. That's fussing, fighting, and arguing, and then we make up. No, no, no. That's sick. And if you operate in there, lay hands on your own head and cast that devil up out of there. He loved me. I just, he loved me. I just done something stupid. He probably my fault. Come on now. Come on now. I'm with you, Apostle. You know it ain't your fault. That's right. That's that desperation to have somebody in your life. I'm going out. Uh, somebody say out of place. <laughs> y'all don't want me. See, y'all want me to tell y'all about Jonah in the belly of the whale. And y'all want me to tell you about the ark. And I'm, I'm going to let the other preacher preach that to you. I'm going to tell you about life because that's what you live in. Watch this here. Satan understands spiritual authority. He knew that he could not overthrow the authority of God in a set place. Come on now. Let me say that again. Satan understands spiritual authority. Yes. And he knew that he could not overthrow the authority that God had set in that place. Come on. So as long as the boys, watch this, were in the place where he could not touch them. Oh. Wow. He was powerless Come on. against them. My God. Look at these pews. You see some folks ain't here right now. You know why? Because Satan wanted them to get from up under the authority. Come on, man. Oh, God. He said, I can't really do nothing with them right now because that joker owned them. <laughs> he owned me. He watching me praying. Jones is speaking into my life. I got, he could say something about a Morris that happened. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. He could prophesy something. And the complete situation will turn around because God is with him. Protection. That's what I'm talking about. What's this here? He wanted the younger boy. Yes. Wow. He didn't want the older boy. Why? Because he knew the older boy was not going to disobey. Yes. Wow. He already knows you who's going to disobey. Come on. He can always identify you because you have a curiosity and a questioning spirit. Oh. You always want a question. You want uh, you have a curiosity about this and about that. So he knows who he can he can come to because you got a door open for him. Come on now, my God. But the older boy didn't have a door open because he said, whatever dad say, I'm gonna do, man. We blessed. Come on. We got now. all this stuff. He didn't just give the stuff. Why? The spiritual authority didn't just give the stuff to one son. He was a just man. He gave the older son two thirds of his inheritance, and he gave the younger son his one third. And he said, "Listen, you go ahead on." Why, why did Satan want him out of there? Because he could not do anything with him as long as he was under spiritual authority. So he said, "He said I can't do nothing to you. Why are you in there? Why are you under that authority? But come on out." Come on out. Why you got to do everything he said? Come on out. You ain't got to obey him. You a grown man. You make up your own. Come on out. 
Providence, y'all, every time you look around, she talking about grace and, 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 and she fooling us. I bet she act just as crazy at home. They just covering up because, you know, ain't nobody perfect as they pretend to be. Come on, come on now. Come on now. We ain't got time to waste all that time pretending. Come on now. After a while, you just learn how to live. And that's why I don't get on these young folks. I don't get on these young folks as hard as I do these older folks. It's something you in your 40s and you still don't know how to live. You are almost 50 years old and you still don't know how to act. You still don't know how to carry yourself. You still don't know how to walk in obedience and in integrity and protect your lifestyle, protect your name, and protect your family. Because when you're doing stupid stuff, your family have to suffer too. Because they got to go and be ridiculed by the kids at school. Your mama this, your daddy that. You're not the only one suffering. They have to suffer too. Whatever affects you, it has an effect on your health. You don't want me to preach today. You want me to talk real jazzy. Watch this. That's why they can't sit here, visitors. They can't sit here because they don't want the real truth. And they know I don't have, it's not personal. Because I'm going to love you right after service. I'll be laughing in a few minutes. You watch. I, I, I'm just going to teach the truth. That's my conviction to teach the truth. Because what the scriptures say, you will know the truth. So he said if you will know the truth, that means he has ordained somebody to preach the truth. And he said the very truth that's preached to you, it's going to set you free. I'm trying to free you up from some of the pain, some of the problems, some of the oh God, some of the mishaps of life, some of the letdowns of life. God is trying to bless. The devil lying to you telling you never ain't never going to change. God said, I'm trying to bless you, but I got to get you to change first. I got to get you to submit. I got to get you to get under my plan. Yes, it's being carried out by somebody else, if not you, but you still got to get under it. Because I got so much this here. When you get up under God's plan, I thank you, Holy Ghost. When you get up under God's plan, you are lying yourself right up under your wound. Now he can pour it out. My husband just say, no, I don't care what he say. Get under. Yeah. I know you got a problem with that, but we learn in the spiritual authority conference. My mistress, she treat me all rough, and she doing this to me, and she doing this to me, and she, I just got to go. Hey God, I just, I, hey, God, I just can't take it. So Rod treat me rough. The angel of the Lord said, where you going? And where you come from? Go back and get up under spiritual authority. Are you hearing what I'm saying? She wouldn't have had nothing if she wasn't under Abraham. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> She'd have been just another Egyptian slave. Oh my God. Come on now. Being sold on the slave blocks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I know the devil was going to keep that one out, but praise God, we got the DVD. Come on. Amen. He get, get kind of angry when I teach this kind of stuff. That's all right. Look at somebody right, say, we got the DVD. We got the DVD. Amen. Watch this, I gotta go head on through there because y'all not ready for that yet. Come that on. might make you make you pack up too. Oh, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> yes. So 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 Satan understands spiritual authority. And as long as he, this, this young man is in this set place, so as long as the boy is in this place, he can't touch him. Come on. So he influenced him and deceived him to come out from under his spiritual authority into a region where his father don't have authority. Come on. Come on. My God. This is good. Yeah. My son. I'm talking about my son. I talk about him. Because he didn't get anything I got. Come on. He wanted to get from up under this region where I had authority. Come on. So he went to Washington and got himself in trouble over there. Because daddy didn't have no authority. Daddy couldn't tell him to come home. Daddy couldn't tell him no hang with them. Come on. Because he was in another place under somebody else. Authority. Come on. Come on. Come on. But when trouble came, he remembered the authority that he was under when he was blessed. When trouble wasn't coming his way, even though he was doing crazy things, trouble still couldn't get him because he was out of my authority. Oh God, I